Welcome back to the Hank's Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. A shot spotter. It's a company that David Chipman was the vice president of marketing from. And um, uh, basically what it was is um, they they sold to a bunch of different cities. Basically what it does, it triangulates gunshots and and. Yeah, 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 off of it, um, how are they doing it off of phone signals or something? How are they doing? No, it? I know no. they do it off. They have little micro high power just microphones. off of microphones. microphones yeah, microphones around. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. yeah. But but, but guess where uh, they put it in Chicago? Guess where they put it in Chicago? Right outside Rhonda Izell's house. Yeah. Do you remember Rhonda like, Izell? No. She's a Chicago yeah, I sent you a gun advanced activist. copy of the article. I think. Yeah, but you don't want me to show this article yet, right? Uh, yeah, well, I wouldn't show it. We can talk yeah. about it, though, because so it's not basi- published. So basically, this is a system that Chicago came up with to, to do something about gun violence in Chicago, and they put these microphones in certain in certain places in the hood. Um, mm-hmm. One of them, Rhonda Izell, who is a 2A activist from Chicago, she's been mm-hmm. on the show, um, mm-hmm. they put one outside her house, but... How much money did they spend on this? Like, was it three thirty-three? Thirty-three million? million dollars over the past three years, and uh, they're going to be spending eleven million dollars a year for the next three years in Chicago. And uh, the 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 uh, Inspector General of of Chicago did a project where they determined how how useful Effective. it is. Yeah, mm-hmm. effective Not it is at all. Nine uh, percent. It's nine percent accurate. Yeah. yeah. So ninety ninety one percent not accurate. <laughs> so what are these uh these listening devices that are now being planted around the city? What sort of sound waves can they pick up? Is it just high powered rifle sounds, or is it literally anything and everything? Is that part? Well, of the it's article? literally every, anything and everything. Like things that that uh has folded has been uh, like cars backfiring, fireworks. Yeah. So, it's, uh, but it's not it's not stuff. listening to you on your cell phone, stand outside. Your well, who knows no, what no, it's doing? No. Yeah, but I know as far I was, as we know. Well, I was reading John's article, and there's times like there was a grandfather who they try to frame him for a shooting, right? And <laughs> yeah, and not... and they say that his car drove through a light in the area, uh, drove through a traffic light in the area when this shooting happened. And that they mm-hmm. heard gunshots, but they actually went back to the company, if I'm not mistaken, John. And like the company said no, and then they went to the company, and all of a sudden the company yeah. found yeah, well, things that well, didn't the, exist. Well, they there was a gunshot heard around like the same time that the grandfather drove through the intersection, but it was a mile away, so they changed the data to put it on his car. And so, uh, he was in jail for a year yep. before he got out. And then in Buffalo, uh, there were, what was it, Buffalo? Uh, in New York somewhere, uh, they stopped a car, um, the, a wrong car, and they shot the dude. Th- they fired four shots at him, hit him three times in the mm-hmm. back, mm-hmm. And, and, and killed him. I, actually, I killed him. Uh, they gravely injured him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the cops said hey you know he fired at us shot uh, like shot spotter said we only detect two shots and they're like well we think he fired three shots at us can you go back and find them so they, they said oh yeah yeah we re- <laughs> ran out of life that we found the three shots um but there was no shell casings no bullets ever found anything like that so it went to trial um and the guy was like i i didn't shoot at the cops i'm not pleading guilty because they were trying to charge him for attempted murder, and they offered him some plea bargain, and he was like, "I'm not, yeah. I'm not doing it because I didn't do it." And yeah. then, so they uh, subpoenaed, so he refused to plea bargain. So they subpoenaed uh, the shot, shot finders, uh, sh- uh, like records, shot spotters mm-hmm. records. And then the company's like, "Oh, we accidentally deleted it, and we accidentally deleted all the backups as well." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that was so, in Rochester, uh, New York. Rochester, Rochester, Rochester. Yeah. yeah. So he got. So in, he basically he got off because there's no evidence has, that they ever fired a shot. 
And like the dude didn't have like gun of... revenue on him. The gun didn't, didn't look like it was yeah. fire. And they claim to be ninety percent, uh, ninety seven percent accurate. Um, and yeah, Chipman, but, uh, Chipman like... was in in charge of marketing for this company. Yeah, he was he was the VP of marketing. And uh, that they claim that that they're ninety seven percent accurate. Their internal testing shows, but uh, other places like like Charlotte, North Carolina, their testing showed that it wasn't it didn't work. And uh, San Antonio, uh, Texas, the, their their testing showed it didn't work. So, and all these p places are paying eleven million dollars a year for it, and it just doesn't work. So Chicago spending thirty three million dollars instead of over making, three years. Yeah, instead of making it easier for the people of Chicago, the law abiding citizens of Chicago, to defend themselves. They're spending this money, and then they're framing people, right? Yeah, I just thought this was important I mean, of uh, to get out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so yeah. Chipman is all up in that. Um, and, and basically, Brady makes a like a their, their huge campaign push against suppressors is suppressors will make shot call uh, shot uh, shot spotter. Mm -hmm. uh, I always call it shot caller or something. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Well, 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 we'll, we'll negate yeah, the gangster we'll rap. negate a shot spotter's ability to be able to detect uh, gunshots, and it's like, but it doesn't work. Yeah, Wal uh, Walter at Safety Harbor Farm says, "I bet that system can find a uh, probably so." Not being sarcastic at all. Um, so Vincent Schifolo knew about that. Yes. Oh yes. He, oh, oh, he started yes. laughing. <laughs> And he knew the he knew the people involved. Yes. Yeah. And he was like, "How do you guys know about that?" <laughs> oh. So so, man. Yeah, I got tortured. Yeah. So, but Ch Chipman, what can we say about Chipman? Is he what? Where, how's Good. his how's his thing looking like? Uh, uh, can we talk about? He's that? not going to get confirmed. Okay. Right now, uh, right now he's not going to get confirmed. But uh, the Biden administration doesn't want to pull his nomination. Why do they have have what? What's the reasoning? They don't want to look weak, even though they, they don't want to look weak. So uh, and they don't think that they will be able to get anyone through. Mm. They it's because they're picking partisan already. people. It's very yeah. simple to get somebody through. Hire somebody from within. Pull somebody yeah, from the bottom. Someone who has no political affiliation. <laughs> yeah, 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 very, very. They're not going to do that. No agenda. So no. They're but. just going to let them sit there. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, they're just they never going to bring them up or vote, basically. It, it'll um, be it'll be um, Merrick Garland all over again. I think it may blame Trump forever that Merrick Garland's not sitting on the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And that so. and then, uh, but what I'm concerned about is something happens and then they push him through because of something happens. Because of that's something maybe that. what they're hinging their bets on. They're, they're hedging their bets that they will have political cover in six months. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I, I I actually looked at some of their documents, and they don't want to look weak. Okay. Yes, I, really I, I have I have contacts in the White House too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. This situation in Afghanistan doesn't help they, with that, but yeah, no. I mean, what a joke that is. Turned yeah. Into. But I think mm -hmm. it gives them reasons to try to look stronger by doing more bad things to us. Uh, in terms of uh, what, and what I mean by that is going against the uh, Second Amendment. So. I agree with DLD after dark. He says, what a freaking joke. Uh, yeah, yep. it's all crazy. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.